Does this mean I have to sleep on the couch tonight? No! Stop that! I know what you're doing. <laughs> this is going to be a hard video for me to film. And when I agreed to do the January declutter group that uh, Dawn from the Minimal Mom is putting together along with some amazing other YouTube ladies, I was like, that sounds great. Uh, I need some declutter in my life. And then I looked at the schedule, week one kitchen, no problem. I was able to declutter that ice cream in the freezer like a boss from last week's video. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave it below. But when I saw the schedule for week two, and also, which is why my video is like the very last one to go up on the uh, declutter your clothes playlist. <laughs> because this... <clears throat> I love clothes. I love clothes. I love shoes. I love jackets. I love accessories. It is one of the things that I find joy from. You probably don't recognize that because I wear t-shirts with funny sayings on them most of the time in my videos. However, I do dress differently off camera a lot of the time. And I don't think we should take the last year as an example of what you need in your wardrobe because I have gone to fewer places than I have ever gone to in my entire life. I normally go to church once a week, haven't done that. I go to concerts, I'll go to trips, I'll go to conferences where I need to dress in a certain way. Haven't done any of that either. So I feel like some of these things, while I can declutter, some of them need like a, like a post pandemic section of the closet where I can then maybe reevaluate. And another issue I have is that like, I do my work from home and it's casual, but if I do go to church or go to a conference, I do need professional clothes for that. I am an avid exerciser. I cycle, I run, I do weightlifting, and all of those require different outfits and different shoes. So let's just say I have a lot in here. If you feel me, if you feel the struggles, give this video a thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you want, some ladies that are much better organizing than I am, I will leave the full playlist down below for you to go check out. And I am, I was watching Dawn's video uh, leading into doing this to try and get some ideas. And I think she said, you don't have to take everything out of your closet, but I think I'm gonna do it. We're gonna start with hang up stuff. We're gonna take everything that is hanging up and I am gonna put it on my bed. It's gonna be in a absolutely yes, absolutely no and pandemic pile. That's the plan. That's what we're doing. Let's start. <laughs> organization business is really exhausting. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a, some kind of service that could bring dinner to my house? Like I didn't have to do any meal planning and I didn't have to do any grocery shopping and I didn't have to leave. If there was some kind of company that could just do all that for me so I could go and make dinner for my family without having to take all the time away from projects like this, that would really be something. <laughs> Fortunately for all of us, Green Chef is able to provide that service. They are a USDA certified organic company and provide dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. So no matter what your lifestyle preferences are as far as food, they will have something for you. Green Chef offers contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking, and they offer nine recipes every single week to choose from within every meal plan. The recipes include pre-made measured sauces, dressings, and spicing so you can get more flavor in less time. And over all the months I have been doing Green Chef, I have never done a recipe that has taken longer than 30 minutes and the sauces are bomb. On the keto boxes especially, the sauces are amazing. I could not recommend them more. The recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to help guide you along. They are giving you an awesome deal today. All you have to do is go to greenchef.us slash frugalfitmom90 and use the code frugalfitmom90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. 
Everything we received in this box was absolutely amazing, took no time at all to prepare, and allowed me to head right back to all of my declutter projects for this month without spending too much time worrying about how to feed my family a healthy and delicious meal. If you wanna grab this offer, just remember, go to greenchef.us slash frugalfitmom90 and use the code frugalfitmom90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Link down below for you. And thanks to Green Chef for partnering with me on today's video. Well, I guess I'll get back to decluttering and organizing. <sighs> How did I even accumulate this much stuff? I am telling you. I, I know what part of it is, is that I buy things and then I keep them for 15 years. So I know there are things in here that are like 10, 10 to 15 years old, and I think it is time to say goodbye to some of them. So let me talk about how we're gonna do this. Here are the parameters of how we are going to go through these items. We are going to keep the things I love, the things I use all the time, and the things that fit. Okay, so those three things are like a hands down, no question, it's a yes. Some things can be reallocated to different parts of the house. Like I found a travel duffel bag that should go with the luggage. A bunch of my summer shoes, which I'm not gonna be wearing until May probably. Like I should probably create a summer box and relocate that to the mechanical room which is uh, where we keep a lot of our storage downstairs to get rid of it's gonna be like a doesn't fit me that great but i've kept it because it's whatever right those are gonna go bye bye pilled stained torn or i just don't use for example i have a great example for that hold that thought I used to run for Team Beef Idaho, and this is all of my apparel, Team Beef apparel. My last year with them was 2019. They didn't do it in 2020. It has basically since disbanded since um, the pandemic happened. And so I have all of these things that like, I am never going to wear again, ever. So why do I have them? They're going away. And I can't even sell them to anyone because they're state specific. For example, this is a bike top and it's Team Beef usually says Idaho somewhere. Northwest Beef, that's the location. I might keep the leggings because I like the leggings, but like all the racing tops like that, Team Beef Idaho. <laughs> Apparently taking all your clothes out of your closet kicks dust up in the air, makes you sneeze. I feel like I need like a get rid of box, a summer box. So let's, I uh, gotta go find some boxes, I'll be right back. Oh, I have these laundry baskets. So that one over there, the broken one is the donate pile. And that one is the summer pile. What do I say? Donate, right? Donate. Like I am never going to wear these team beef ones again, like ever. And if I do, I'll get new ones. This is a tri kit. Never, actually that's just probably good. No, it's not. Buy, 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 keep. Nope, nope. Oh, these are cycling. They keep your arms warm when you cycle. See, but I'm not cycling outside for months still. So this can be the cycling, cycling running summer stuff. Okay, can put away right now. I'm just gonna start divvying through this. Here we go. This fits me, Dave. It's a cycling top. Where'd you get it from? My mom. That's pretty good, right?
Okay, one basket's totally full, so let's move this out of the room and I'll get another I'll get another one. New empty basket. My head is cut off. I even cut my head off when I sit on the bed. What the I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is a fleece lined top. I bought it when we first moved here and it's actually just a little too small. Doesn't fit my monkey arms. Keep that sweatshirt, keep that workout top, keep the skirts. That one is stained. Yes, that's just like your plain basic tee, like white tee. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for that. <laughs> oh, that's a workout top. Yes, that's keep. Sometimes this is easy. That's a workout top, I wear that all the time. This is too small. See how easy that is? This pilled really quickly. That's what I think, yeah, gone. It's Haley's. Love this skirt, can't wait to wear it again. These leggings are going bye-bye. These are Fabletics, and they just wore really, really quickly on the tush, like after two washes and wears. Here, I'll even show you. Do you see how quickly that wore? Yeah, that's a, that's a no for me, dogs. Those are gone, it's a workout top. Oh, these are my leggings. No way, I got a small. Did I get a small in these? These are the she fit leggings, I thought I got a medium. Oh, my Texas shirt, keep that. Keep this sweatshirt, I wear that one a lot. I just wore this, say yes, yes. Those go with the Christmas stuff, so that's a seasonal, seasonal item. These are some of my favorite leggings. I get asked about these all the time. They're the brand Gaim, I guess. They were in a Stitch Fix box, I love them. Totally squat proof, very awesome. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that, that's not good. Sports bra. Oh, it's my Louisiana shirt. I gotta keep that. I think that's Dave's. What is, what the heck? Where are you? Yeah, that's Dave's. We'll just put that in his pile. That's a running top. That is Dave's running top. That's Dave's also. I added a few more things to that pile. So here come the hard questions. This jacket. Before we start, I have a thing for jackets. Okay? Some people like purses. I'm a jacket girl. I like jackets and shoes. I have had this jacket from Banana Republic. Here's a close up of the pattern. Since 2011, 2010 or 2011, I still love it. Do I keep it because I love it? It's a spring jacket, so I wouldn't wear it until uh, March or April. I feel like it's a keep. I still love it, still fits. This is a hard one too. I've had this skirt forever. How adorable is this skirt? But it only fits really well if I'm about five pounds less than where I am. I know that sounds stupid, but I carry all of my weight in like my legs and hips. If I go down five pounds, um, it fits better across the waist. So, tell me down below what to do. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one, but I'm gonna keep this skirt. This one's super stretchy and I love that one. I have a couple pencil skirts, standard black, standard navy, gotta keep those. And then here are some pants I wear all the time. I wear these like camo gray pants all the time. These are summer capris. I wear, I wore those all summer. I love this top, so I'm keeping this one. I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna go hang these up and like hang up all these extra hangers right here. And then we're gonna attack the shoes. <laughs> Here's what I have accomplished so far is I have nothing down here. And let me explain what I'm gonna, what my plan is for here in just a second. But I have all of my extra hangers there. We haven't touched Dave's clothes. Because if there's one thing I know for sure is if you wanna start a fight in your marriage, get rid of your husband's things. Okay, you're welcome. I got rid of basically a full laundry basket and a half of all the stuff that was hanging here and all the stuff that was hanging back there is not there. Here's how I've organized it just in case you're looking for a method and then, you know, you can pick and choose whatever it is that you wanna do. So I have pants at the beginning, then skirts. My dresses are tucked back in that corner because, um, this is gonna move and they're gonna hang there because this is the long section. We'll talk about that in a second. Then I have short sleeves, okay? Short sleeves, short sleeves, short sleeves, three quarter and then long sleeves. These are all dressy items. Long sleeves, and we're moving into sweaters. Here is where I have all of my active wear tops basically and sweatshirts. I wear this for cycling and running outside during the winter. Like these are sport jackets sweatshirts here, dresses, like I said. My method is when I wear something, so I'm gonna take it off, where whichever one I pick to wear that day. Okay, I'm gonna take it off, I wear it, I wash it. When it comes time to put it back away, I'm gonna hang it out back on my hanger and it's gonna go to the back of this section. So like, if it's a short sleeve section, it's gonna go right here at the back. That way I know I haven't worn the things in the front and the things in the back I've already done. That way I can 
shuffle through things. For example, if I want to wear a sweater, I'm like, oh, this cardigan's in the front. I must have not worn it in a long time. This cardigan's in the back. I must have just worn it. So let's choose the things that are in the front. That way you can move through your wardrobe and never have pieces that you don't wear. I did end up putting my purses up here. Don't mind this box. It will stay here until my mom moves into her house. It's just the nature of the beast right now. And here is the plan for this section is I want to take off this rod and these brackets and I want to put a low long dresser here and not this tall one. It's actually on an air vent that we have closed and I wanna move this one out totally and put our dresser here. That way we can hang up long things like coats and dresses along this section. So most of our stuff will just be across the top, the top, the top. And then we'll have a dresser down here and then possibly like a shorter dresser down here after Dave gets rid of some of his things. And he did agree. He did wanna get rid of some stuff. Okay. Let's move over to this section, which is a nightmare. I'm about to go and organize my shoes and I wanna put the shoes here. However, like for example, I do have a pair of shoes right here. They only cover half of this shelf, which is stupid. The idea is I wanna to go to the store tonight and see if I can get shelves that are like halfway so I can do two layers of shoes and keep my shoes perhaps on the bottom two of this shelf. I feel like your builder's grade closet shelves are stupid because they don't fit anything ever. Oh, and if you want a good way to hang necklaces, this is something I did. I just put a command strip in my closet and all my necklaces are here so I can just pick the one I want. I do have some organization tips for you. All right, let's tackle the shoes. So I wanna keep these purses cause I do switch back and forth between a couple of purses. So what do you do with your purses that are not in rotation right now? I have this like olive green one. I have a lot of green, don't I? I do like green. And then I have this uh, mountain smith one that my mom gave me and then another that's just like this, but in blue. Where do the purses go? This is what I need to know. And then over here, I have kept this dress. I wore it to prom in high school. I have kept it all these years. <laughs> is it finally time to get rid of it? I mean, I haven't worn it since college. I just always really liked it. What do you think? Here are all of the shoes we're gonna talk about in this video because I'm not gonna bring out my running shoes because those are not going anywhere. A lot of them are summer, summer dress shoes. So I think I can put a bunch away just because I'm not gonna wear them until I can go back to church or until it's summer. But these are so old, I cannot remember the last time I wore them. I'm probably gonna get rid of those. Summer shoes. I think I'm gonna get rid of these gold shoes because I haven't worn these in a really long time either. I do like them. I just haven't worn them in so long. Maybe I should think about it. Maybe I should do what Don calls the pandemic box where I like put them to the side and then I think about it for a few months. Those will go in the summer box. I love these. These are some of my favorite shoes. I wear them all the time when I dress up. These were some of my favorite shoes ever. I love these as well. However, as I get older, I have bunions, by the way. Um, this rubs the side of them. It's a little dusty. I haven't worn them in a long time. And they kind of hurt my feet now. I think I'm gonna get rid of these, but they are kind of awesome. Timberland brown zip-up boots. They're the only brown ones I have that are flat, so I'm gonna keep those. I mean, how can I get rid of those? It's not possible, so we'll definitely, that's a keep. That's all, I'll keep these till I die. I'm glad I did this because these were tucked in the back of my closet. I forgot I had these. I love these boots. These are kind of like my everyday throw on, go out in the snow boots. These are some of the first boots I bought when we moved to Idaho seven years ago, but they didn't wear very well. Can you see how like it's cracking all the way up and the finish is coming off? See that right there? It, like it's just peeling. I think the other boot is way worse. Like it just doesn't look good anymore. So this is gonna go bye-bye as well. It's a bummer, I love these boots, but it's, you know, they served their time. Seven years is pretty good. Help me make some decisions here. These, I love these shoes. These are going nowhere. I bought these in March, right before the pandemic started. I haven't been able to wear them, but they're really, really nice, like Cole Haan shoes. So I am excited to wear those again. These are just like summer sandals. So those will go in the summer box. I do wear these all the time. These are fake fake Birkenstocks I got from Amazon. If I can find them, I'll give you a link down below. But they come in a ton of colors. I got Haley black ones. I love these too. I bought these because <laughs> of my plantar fasciitis. I needed a dress up shoe that wasn't a heel. So I bought those as a go between. So we'll keep them just in case. Plantar fasciitis flares up again. Love these keeping. What do you think about these? I do love them, but I cannot remember the last time I wore a heel that narrow and tall. So I think these are gonna go bye bye. And lastly, I adore these shoes. I bought these 10 years ago from the Steve Madden store. They were on clearance for $13, I think. 
They're a little crunchy. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Do you hear that crunch? Oh, I think these are gonna have to go. They're just too old. Oh man. Okay, I am now in the market for a shoe that looks just like this. Apparently 10 years is too much. Oh, I hear it again. Oh, that's not good. I don't think it's supposed to make that noise. <laughs> I wore these all the time. I, I love these shoes. Oh, rest in peace, my babies. Okay, I'm back in the closet and I found a few more. There's no way I'm getting rid of those or those. They are some of my favorite shoes ever. So those are staying. I wear these all the time. These are just a memory foam. I think they're Skechers. Yep. I got these from Ross, but when my plantar fasciitis hurts, this super, super squishy bottom feels really good on my feet. So I always have a pair of some kind of memory foam shoe. And then I got these little camo ones from Walmart. Haley and I have matching ones and they're squishy also. So there's a little slip on shoes. My question is, what do I do about these? Because I do have two other pairs of flip flops that are a touch nicer, including the ones I'm wearing right now. But like you go to the pool or something like that. Don't you want just a cheapy pair like this? What do you think? They're pretty new. They've all, they almost have never been worn. So I could keep them and put them in the summer box. I did want to point out just a couple more shoes that I had right here. I am headed to the store to go look for some shelves for all of these shoes in the closet. I will wrap up the video here, but if you want to see the entire playlist of all of the ladies that decluttered clothing this week, full playlist down below. And if you want to check out Green Chef, they're going to give you $90 off and free shipping off of your first box. If you go to greenchef.us slash frugalfitmom90, use the code frugalfitmom90 to save yourself some dollar dollar bills. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. I decided to get some of these from Walmart. This is the size I measured before I went. I got a couple of these and this is how they are working to store my shoes on these shelves to make them a lot more efficient. Still need to go through this stuff, but another day, another day. So I have these over here. I think it looks pretty good. And then I have this spare one for Dave's shoes. So we'll use this on his side and get his shoes nice and organized as well. And on this top side, I have my backup running shoes that I have not opened yet, but I did sign up for a half marathon this year. I might get to get these out of the box. What do you think? Looks okay. Good use of space. It's better than how it was. Stupid shelves don't do anything for organization without something in the middle like this. I like it.